I've made my own little paper material here. Um, I put this, got, this stuff into a folder, that way I can easily mask it now. So I'm going to add a black mask, and I really, um, let me make sure that I put a paint in here too. I may want to adjust this later, so we'll, we'll try that out. Um, but let's just say that Matt here is the bottom of my compass. Okay, this is a really dense model, by the way. Uh, that I'm not too happy about. Okay, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> I'm not even going to try with geometry because that's just going to take a long, long time. I am going to harden my brush. And we are going to paint white. Hopefully I'm in white, right? Yeah, white. Let's just paint white in here. Okay. And the reason I made this hard is because I want there to be some crispness there. Let's try to line it up just a little bit better. There we go. A little bit of that. We're kind of sinking down in the height. So uh, actually what I may want to do here is I may want to um, change the height from instead of being down to being up. We'll just raise the height instead. That, uh, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I think that's okay. Um, okay, now I'm going to uh, let's try to tatter these edges too. I mean, I was talking to Justin here just to kind of get some depth on the bottom of his compass. So let's try doing some like page tattering here, okay? So I'm going to let's find a grunge with some nasty stuff in here. This guy is pretty crazy. Um, just checking things out though. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna add a fill. This is my folder. Okay, so everything inside that folder is going along for the ride. I'm putting a fill in there, okay. Um, And uh, actually, I want these slashes to be black. So I'm, I'm actually going to come over here and just say um, into my grunge and uh, invert, invert it, okay? And, uh, and you're probably just like, okay, well, it's still kind of crazy. Um, now I want these, uh, I want, I'm going to set this guy to just be a multiply. That way it's only going to chop away from what's already there, the blacks, okay? All right, so I'm getting a little bit of that action there. Um, I am going to actually, let's come in this way. Let's uh, do a levels node on top of this and uh, clamp some values together. I really want some sharp details on this grunge. Actually, before I do this, I may, I may be able to take a step away here and just clamp up the contrast. That's probably better, right? Why make this difficult? <laughs> Just clamp up the contrast on that grunge, and I'm going to scale it probably a few more times too. Just to get some stuff in there. Okay. Um, all right, that's already looking kind of crazy. But I'm glad I didn't have to use a levels node. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, really, really clamp up the contrast on this stuff so that we're uh, so that we're getting some sharp details because that's what paper is going to do. Paper is going to do that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm going to add another paint over top of this now. I'm just going to shrink my selection a little bit now so that we're getting some of our pure paper back. So basically what I'm doing here is just kind of using this to tatter some of the edges. All right, and there we go. We kind of have now this little area, and I can kind of mask. I can, you know, if you, if you don't want to do it this way and you want to just kind of paint some of this stuff in here, if you have some terrors that you really like, do some of that stuff. You know, we can also, you can probably also, like, attack this thing. 
you know, maybe I want it like a terror in the middle. But this gives us like a nice little tattered um, paper effect in here, right? So let's put like a tear in there, you know. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so now I have like a tattered map kind of effect. If I wanted to kind of stamp something in here, um, we could do that as well. Let me make another fill. Um, I'm going to turn my color. I think I just want color on this. Maybe I'll put some roughness in there. Who knows? Okay. We'll put a, let's make a stamp here maybe. Um, this is, okay, this is my compass shape. Let's just freaking do that because it's nice. Um, let's do projection. I want to project into this. Let me uh, just make a paint here. And uh, my projection, wait, that's geometry. This is projection. I get those mixed up sometimes. Apologies. This is my little compass shape here that I want to paint in. And I'm painting into a white mask. That's why it's white. So. Right, and there's my details. Uh, my grunge is over top of this. That's why it looks kind of worn like that. If I take that off, then it's just plain black. But my little grunge and height there is doing some cool stuff. Um, it's only it's only got a partial opacity to it, so it's only giving me 50% color. So that's good. Um, this may be a little sharp, so I can actually come in here and maybe blur it a little bit more so it looks more realistic. Just a little bit of blur. There we go. I can come over here to my height. And, you know, maybe add a little bit of height to it. Just a small smidgen of height. Yeah, that's not really helping too much. I'm going to X the height. But let's make this a little shinier, though. That way we get a little bit more ink, inking effect in there. I'm just going to raise the, the shininess a little bit so we have some kind of fill, uh, pigment in there that kind of shines. Okay, but since everything's in my folder, my mask is all in that folder. So that's what that's what I'm rocking there. And since this guy is painted to, you know, we can actually come in here and get some nasty, let's get some brushes in here and maybe I can tear away at this paper just a little bit more. So Substance Painter is a little bit, you know, it's okay for painting some of that stuff out. But that's where you want to work, that's what you want to focus on is painting things out, not uh, painting things in. I'm seeing a lot of photos. Are these my Photoshop brushes? I'm flipping out here. I really hope those are because... Uh, then I can actually do my freaking inking on my characters in here. My ink box. I don't know. Kyle's, Kyle's, Kyle's. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> this is going to be a harder file to get through if I'm going through all my paintbrush files. Here. This one's nice and choppy. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm going to just double click and now my brush is this little uh, paint swab thing here. Um, I'm painting black now, so I, I want to just chop this stuff out a little bit more. So let's just chop this up a little bit. Um, do I have like hardness on all the way or? Oh, there we go. Something's just a little bit too soft. I want full blown hardness. Give it to me. Okay, and just kind of like use these filters to just kind of chop these shapes away if you want just a little bit more happening here. Like if you're getting a little island, it's like paper doesn't make islands, Harvey. Okay, that's fine. 
kind of find some of these areas and just kind of give it just a little bit more. Now, if I didn't have this grunge here already, then it would it, it wouldn't look as good. So I'm just kind of setting the tone for this. You know, some more of these islands over here. It's just like this thing isn't probably glued on. It's a uh, just tattered like that. Okay. Just little little brushes here and there can't hurt as long as you're kind of doing things the right way. So now I have like that tattered paper look. And that's what would look, that's probably what would look good with your compass is something like that. That way you, we can still see some of that metal underneath it and you would, and you wouldn't have to do any paper or alphas on that. That, that wouldn't be any worth anything. I would only, I would only use like an alpha or like a card on this. If, if there was, um, if there was actual silhouette change really, because even, even if you wanted like wrinkles on this thing or something like that, you could just, you could do something like that still. If I, uh, I don't know if I could do that. Uh, I've never done wrinkles before, but there's always, <laughs> there's always a way. If you get creative enough, you can do it. I don't know. Let's see what we get. Who knows? If I, uh, I'm going to try something. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. What the heck did I just do? Add a black mask. Thank you. Breakfast is coming back with a vengeance here. Let's try this grunge again. Um, holding alt just to look at the grunge. I am still inside the folder too. Um, I want to scale this down though. I'm going to scale the grunge down. That way I'm getting like some bigger details in here. And I'm wondering if maybe I could just like blur this thing out and use it like a height. Add a filter, and blur it like just really severely blur it. And I'm just wondering what that looks like with height. Just kind of morph the height up a little bit on this thing. It's probably not doing much. Try a levels node and maybe clamp it now. Coming in. We're getting raided. Let's see what this looks like. Anything? I'm seeing, I think I'm seeing something there. That's okay, Connor. Working on some stuff here. Trying to uh, trying to get some like cloth wrinkles. This has to be like really soft. Oof. Okay, yeah, I need to. We're too sharp on that now. Too sharp. Bring it down a notch or. Uh, this way probably there try that out yeah there's a little bit of folding happening in there it's really subtle kind of like a bubbling effect maybe hmm. 